Quick thing, this video has a lot of flashing lights as I get hit a lot for very small damage, hey. which means a lot of flashing, so if you have photosensitivity issues, probably skip ah, this video. The guest lounge, where visitors of the palace may check out any time they like, but they may never leave. By visitors, you mean the insane number of ghosts, candlesticks, and warrior rabbits I've encountered so far? And vampires! Don't forget vampires. They tend to get upset. Good thing they prefer to stay in the gala hall, though. My point is, why do they have to attack me? We could be having a drink instead. I wouldn't count on that. They would chase you to the end of the cursed mirror, just to please the mighty Lele. They will do anything in their power to prevent you from reaching the throne room. Good thing I prepared a few tricks for this situation. Okay. This game is destroying my fingers. It's been a while since I've played a game that that's done that. Ow. Shit, this got a lot faster. And a lot more aggressive. Oh, they're just carrying bombs with them. I... This makes sense. Okay. There we kind of go. Grab this. Thank Cupcake for existing. Stay the heck away from these boys. Ow. They like to put them behind me, which is a problem. And I think the bomber rabbits, the timing on them is awkward. I think it's just proximity that does it for them. Okay, we get Starburst. I don't really need push. I guess it could help with the dash. Okay. Dang. Yeah, they really like to just place those behind me where I need to da dash to. I guess the trick is to some degree watch my own feet, not where watch where I'm shooting. Okay. They fire pretty quick. But it's not so bad. I do wish there was light randomization on some of these parts. You know how, like, Dead Cells has random effects. on uh, the weapons. The, change it slightly. This could actually benefit from that kind of design choice. Mainly if only to just give certain cards a little bit more immediate personality. I guess that's kind of what the uh, combo effects are supposed to be. But it'd be really cool if there was like, just randomly double shot on something. Okay. I'm going to get, well, yeah, because I don't, I'm not really using Shocking Rival anymore. There, now I can warp through attacks if I have to. Yeah, small chance that a card would drop with like a unique effect. Yeah.
Just a little bit of something. Would go a long way. Just in terms of, like, immediate variety. Oh, boy. Ow. Triple hit combo. Was not expecting that from... Was that a candelabra? I have no idea. It's like a candlestick warrior. Okay. Grab Crescendo Fireworks and upgrade the ones we have. Okay. I think that does plenty of damage. We struggle with these kinds of games because I'm not good at dodging and attacking at the same time. Or just dodging in general. Kind of person who's better at facing damage in video games than I'm avoiding them altogether. It, it's a process. I guess here's the other option. But no. There. Now I've just got status effects up the wazoo. As I dash around. Hopefully this will work. homing? I have no idea. Okay, so we've got to worry about you first. But that's honestly fine. Yeah, those are slightly homing. They're very slow, and they're mostly not a problem, but they're a little bit of one. Oh. That's what slowed me down. Oop. Okay, well, I don't have any more teacups. So that... Puts me in a bit of a pickle. Titan Punch. Not terribly excited for that. There's a, maybe a couple of reasons why I'd want to do that. Okay. It's the candles Candlestick Maidens. That are the spookiest ones. In terms of just like immediate raw damage. Oh, they have like a a dodge dash thing going on. Okay. Just trying to keep very far away. Because, yeah, they've got very quick attacks and hella reach. And they like to do that sort of shit. Whew! That's left. You're left. That's okay. Damage over time's, time effects will save my ass. Maybe. Maybe. Whew! 
Well, we have a door to the palace shop. Interesting. Do I keep exploring? It's like two more hits to kill me. Well. I don't have a choice on this one. I'm surprised I haven't found any more cakes here. A little bit of healing would have gone a long way. But yeah, we've been pretty much foodless this entire run. That was a little bit right at the start, but that was about the extent of it. Luckily, I really can just keep my distance and plow through them really quickly. That's that. But do I dare? I, I don't know. Because ultimately, as long as I pay attention and I don't get locked into a room, most of these enemies just can't reach me. The kiting is a superpower. When it comes to games like this. Unfortunately, it means melee combat is maybe not my strongest of suits. Are yeah, they give all the food on the first floor. Wish they hadn't. I am heavy artilleryman. Yeah, unfortunately, I think this run is going to destroy my fingers. Oh, there we go. There we go. And we get Passion Comet, but we get a higher tier Passion Comet. Do I want to get Death Charm? Not really, actually. The fireworks do more damage, so let's just sell this. Hey, thank you, Mr. King, for the 10 month resub. Did I miss anybody else? I have no idea. Streamlabs OBS has been busted for a while. Yes. Okay. Coming down this direction was 100% worth it because now we have the club's key. charm and then toast the shit out of them and we even get a cupcake all right so my my boldness pays off i wasn't sure if it was going to but the other thing of note is having two dashes is actually incredibly good Especially because they can do a lot of damage. Okay. Boy, them some numbers. Okay, and we get a dazzling display, which I sell. Gosh, I have a lot of gold that I don't really have much use for. Alright, so that's a heart's gate. Do we have a club's gate here? Interestingly enough, I don't think we do. Because that's spades. Okay. Well, we got what we came for, and then some. Let's get out of here. So is this Wizard of Legend with a fancy makeover? A Wizard of Legend, Transistor, and uh, Dead Cells. When are you going to do Vintage Story anytime soon? Uh, I don't know. Time is hey, when you find the guy that trapped side. us in here, will you slap him for me? Okay, I'm gonna grab Angry Howler, because that sounds interesting.
Interesting. Shit. That's really good. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. This sounds... This might be really cool. Oh, that's what's hitting me. Okay, I officially hate these... urns. Because they don't go away? Okay, and then these guys are pretty much just the rabbits from the last zone. But they throw an AoE, and if they miss, it still blows up right next to you. It's fair, I mean, I have the exact same ability, but... I'm not a big fan of this zone. It... It's one of those where... The enemies are getting a lot... More ridiculous. And the only thing I'm gaining is kind of a slight numerical advantage. Uh, but I'm not getting anything fancy. In games like Binding of Isaac, it's not so bad because you are becoming progressively more ridiculous over the course of the run. And maybe it's just that I haven't unlocked anything yet, but I'm kind of in this like weird, weird state where it's just like everything is getting a lot harder to deal with. And I'm not being given necessarily the tools that I need to cope. There's also not a whole lot of warning for, like, projectiles off-screen and some other things. I don't know. I... The big problem with, uh... With games that are very derivative of others... Is... It does become kind of difficult... Uh... To escape their shadow. And I'm sure I'm gonna master this eventually. Uh... But I, I'm missing certain quality of life things. Or effects. Empower magic. Nah, I'm just gonna sell that that are prevalent in, say, dead cells or whatnot. We want to go for a shocking arrival. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. I'll get rid of the speed boost. We need this again. Uh, do we have a double shop? That's a new one. There we go. Well, there goes all my money. So we can also go in here. Well, we just got this. Let's see. But at least my damage is pretty good. But, like, it would be cool if I... If you, every time you beat a boss or something, you get an extra upgrade slot that you can chain another effect on. Uh, to, like, a weapon or something. But I think, really, I just gotta play this game some more. Unlock some more spells and, uh... Keep fighting like a coward. I realize they're probably going to nerf this game. I didn't even notice him there. I must have gotten him with a stun or something. Uh, I didn't even see that there until it was flying at me. Luckily, I keep my distance. Hope you guys like damage over time effects. Because boy hooty, I'm rolling with them. Got anything else over here? Mm, sort of. 
Okay, Titan Punch. Don't care. I mean, maybe a vulnerability actually affected my, um... My damage over time effects. Maybe they do. I don't fully know. A. We got Cupcake. Now, is that a healing field? No. That's probably, honestly, some kind of damage field. Nope. It's a... Well, it is a damage field. It's just bonus damage for them. Nothing I have to worry about. At least... I have to worry about it. It just ain't going to kill me outright. I just see purple field and I'm like, that's... That's a bad one. We just... Can't tell how bad. Bubble trouble. Sell it. So I feel like this is almost the, the build-up before the final boss. That's probably exactly what this is. Well, I'm just going to artillery from a distance. And that's just going to work out for me. Mostly. I like those heart... They're geodes, not agates. Aww. It's the Persona Mask. Probably. It might not be, but it absolutely looks like his mask. I lived in uh, Croatia for a bit. They had an amount of fancy masquerade masks that you could buy at a couple of the stores. And everybody wanted to pick one up. Me included, but we were always kind of on the lookout for the best ones. And they're always not the best ones and so I think maybe like one or two people ended up buying masks I ended up buying like Aladdin pants okay so him chucking his hook hurt it didn't hurt that bad okay Nope, that did. Okay, so I'm getting spookier. I think my big big beef is just that while I might be getting spookier, so much of that just boils down to uh, I'm also just cheesier. Like previous previous rooms, I might have stuck around to actually like fight, but because of the damage bonus aura and so many other things, I'm just kind of like, yeah, I don't want to be here. Gosh, attaching the poison to the to the firework was such a good move. Mainly just because the big issue with poison is propagation. Trying to get it on onto enemies is kind of hard with the regular poison spell. Uh, let's see, we got a tier seven. Uh, let's see, got anything else? No. I don't know why I had to walk over to this. Alright, so this is going to be dicey. Like I said, going to be a bit dicey. But the dangage I'm putting out, though. Whew! It's it good dangage. Yeah, the one, one other thing I should consider is that my my dashes actually do a lot of damage. And I should probably use them a little bit more. Keep selling this stuff. We don't need it. Oh, ow. Nothing to ow. Well, I still haven't drank my tea yet, which is good. And we just got a cupcake. Just 
Oh, that ain't it. Where's my cupcake? Oh, it's right there. There we go. So far, so good. Ah, dang it. Hello. You, sirs, are an inconvenience. I'm, try I'm trying to do offensive dodging here. Which I probably shouldn't do, but we're fine. Hello. Uh, scintillating chains. Dang, those fireworks hurt. So far, so kind of good. Okay, we got another shop. Shop has... This one's interesting. This might actually be worthwhile. I'm... I'm gonna... I'm gonna err on the side of experimentation. What is... How big is that? That's pretty big. It's pretty good. I'm not sure if the damage is worth it, though. That fire is not worth it, though. Empowering it would be the trick. I mean, alternatively, we get push. It's like, I don't even, I don't even want to think about that one. Yeah, so let, let's go with the smaller traps. It's not worth it. I was hoping what size increase would do. Uh, I was really hoping the size increase would actually give me more cards. But that's not the case. Oh. <sighs> Okay, this is taking forever. Extra tents. Oh, reward tents now have a card. Useful. Okay. I get a look at some of these. So, throws mystical change. Reactivating the skill teleports ace blasting nearby enemies. Oh. Versus... Adds delusional freedom to pink cards. Or bind to blue. That's not terrible as a movement tech. How much damage does this do? That's a lot of damage. Oh, but it it might only do damage when I pop up. the range on that. Pretty dang low with that Hungry Chomper. Pretty big this way. I might want to give this a shot. The, th the throw disc could be interesting. I 
knew you were powerful, Dandy Ace, but it never ceases to surprise me. Thanks. It's just practice. And I have been performing a lot. Too bad your skills won't matter this time. Behind this gate lies the bridge of the gatekeeper. He'll ask you for an invitation. Without it, you can't get into the gala hall. And I'm afraid that's the only way to the throne room. Is there any way I can get an invitation? Buy a ticket, maybe? Unfortunately, the event is completely sold out. I'll talk to the gatekeeper. He might be a reasonable fellow. <laughs> I doubt that, but we'll see. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So we got Severino's Bridge, Galahal, and Lele's Throne Room. Yeah, this is going to be one of those roguelikes where I have to split every run into multiple parts, probably. Name, please. Ace. Dandy Ace. Let's see here. Nope. Not on the list. Is this the way to the Gala Hall? I really need to get through. Sorry, sir. If your name is not on the list, no entry. There's nothing I can do about it. Well, since I have to, what if I use my magic to go past? You can certainly try. Okay. Ow. I'm sorry, hold up. That hurt. That did like a hundred damage. That hurts. Whew. Toxic spray, tier X. The shitty thing is, I don't want to equip it. Because I could put it there and boy, that would do so much damage. Okay. My logic is Poison Spray is such a small AoE. I mean, we can try it for a bit. But it's it's tiny. Welcome to Nif Symporium. Okay, let's start investing in that. It's such a small AoE. I have no idea if I'm actually going to be able to leverage it.
What about with the big size? Loses the burn, but that's... That's an option. Can we go home now? Reveals the paths and details in the map. It does not unlock portals. Interesting. How do you always make your outfit look so clean and tidy? Mm, I don't know how you managed to get past Severino, Dandy Ace. But now, you find yourself in the last room of the ever-changing palace. The most dangerous, perilous, and I must say fanciest, of the palace sections. The Gala Hall. It's gorgeous. The decoration is done with such great taste. I feel at home here. But beware! Only the strongest minions of the palace are allowed in this part. Are you sure you want to move on? I've come a long way up to here. I won't give up now. Behind the gala hall lies the throne room, where Lele is waiting for you. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's try big poison, see if that actually works. Yeah, it works. And this way I'm not charging constantly. Dang it, she summoned that right on top of me. That's just categorically rude. I'm gonna leave that actually, I'm not terribly wounded. I... We've suddenly gone full shotgun wizard here. Ow. Let's see. I guess it's pretty good. I gotta go get that cu cupcake back. I never actually killed this guy, did I? Okay, so this is heart store, can't do it. Okay, we get another time warp. Honestly, let's just do double time warp. Being able to, like... Well, time warp would be lovely. Oh. Okay, that's cool. That'd be one of the vampires there. I'll fully admit, though, I am digging the speed at which this fires, and the amount of damage that it does. <sighs> do I want to do packet pack? Yeah, because I'm not digging the chains too much. Rude. I didn't know they could do that. Ow, what am I even... There's just a lot of sources of kind of random damage here. Hard to work around. Please give me some healing. No, we get this instead.
Okay. Let's do that. It's just instant, and I have no idea where half of this shit is going to end up. But I think a lot of that just has to do with time and experience and learning. <sighs> nah. Yeah, chip damage is real. Yeah. Oh, good. Food. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna die without this. Ow. Come on. Yeah, the fact that it slows you, too, is just mean. Okay. Rose cards. I'm gonna try this instead. Just because. Oh, I I have big card. I don't need big card. Big card is maybe tempting. Okay, Aegis Cloak Blueprint. Okay, so that's got some limited range. Yeah, holy shit, that's... We don't have the upfront damage. But the poison, I think, makes up for it. Maybe it doesn't, actually. Yeah, let's, let's go back. Just get rid of the cards. Let's see. Oh, but that's only if it hits an enemy. So let's keep this. So in this game, are you a gosh darn wizard? I am, in fact, a gosh darn wizard. Okay, there we go. Oh, these are always spooky. I... You know the other thing that's getting me with this? Every time I take a hit, my screen flashes. And I don't like that. And it's like anything. Chip damage, which is near instantaneous. Uh, a full hit. Everything. Uh, let's see. It's a little blinding. Okay, do we want to do scintillating chains again? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not digging these. Epilepsy warning when it's out on YouTube. Yeah, I think I'll do that. When somebody uh. Bug me on Discord, do we got... Oh! Well, I just warped in and died. It's fine. I honestly did quite, quite well considering everything. But I was definitely starting to lose the script by the end. So many enemies just kind of instant attack you the moment you're nearby. And so many enemies have very minimal tells. You know, the, the vampire blood portals on the ground 
uh, they just pop up and they hurt you. And it's kind of just like, ah, oh, shit, I gotta get out of this. And so I'm just mashing both of my dodge buttons to get out. Uh, so now we can at least take a look at the map a little bit more and understand. So it looks like there's only four bosses in this game. Axel Angelo and then Cizarello, which we haven't seen yet, but can access if I want to. And then we got Severino. I was actually getting pretty close to fighting Lele there. Uh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Um, but it's one of those, I like this game. It unfortunately has very big shoes to fill and I'm, I'm still questioning whether or not it will. Because it just doesn't have that smooth, refined feel that uh, that Hades does. Like, whenever I'm playing Hades, I'm just zipping through the battlefield, and it it never, ever feels like I'm having trouble with it. It's much more just kind of like uh, making sure that I'm doing the right movement at the right time. This one, I'm often like, I dash, I take damage. I don't dash, I take damage. Um, are the shoes too long? I, I think the shoes... The shoes are just big. The more good roguelikes come out, the harder it's going to be for games that follow in said foot, roguelikes' footsteps. Uh, the harder it is for them to actually match up comparatively. I don't know. I... I'll try and play some more of this if I can, but I'll fully admit it hurts my fingers, so I can't play anymore right now. It's good fun, and it's a lot of style, and I think it's one of those that once I've unlocked everything, it'll be way more fun.